I'm be presenting a, a study on soft tissue sarcoma, localized soft tissue sarcoma, where we, will co we have been comparing the use of conventional chemotherapy in all histology subtype with an histology tailored chemotherapy, say a chemotherapy chosen based on the histology subtype, because soft tissue sarcoma are not a single disease, are made by different histology subtypes, and therefore we use this. Sarcoma is a, is a rare tumor. It affects, uh, it, it represents uh, roughly 1% of all malignancies. Although it affects the younger population, therefore it is rare in the adult in the, in, as, as it is uh, uh, if compared with other common cancer, but in the young adults and in the, in the, uh, it is much com more common. Yeah, of course, we uh, showed uh, some years ago that the use of conventional standard chemotherapy using a combination of anthracycline and diphosphamide at high doses in a high risk population was able to improve disease-free survival and overall survival. Uh, although the study was small and lost its significance on the long run, so it was not able to really convince uh, the community that the use of this uh, uh, regimen was uh, uh, of benefit in, even in this high risk population. So, so far, the use of chemotherapy is still very controversial in uh, this uh, setting. Uh, so, the, in spite of that, we decided to uh, design a study where this uh, chemotherapy was compared to an histology tailored one uh, in order to see whether the histology tailored one could have proven to be better in terms of disease control and overall survival. We actually were surprised to find the results different from the one we had hypothesized. So we found that the conventional chemotherapy was in fact, chemotherapy was in fact better than the histology tailored one. Uh, so the study is formally negative. However, for the first time, it provides a strong randomized evidence in favor of the use of conventional chemotherapy in a high risk population of patients affected by soft tissue sarcoma. So when a patient has a soft tissue sarcoma with a risk averaging around 60-70%, a risk of dying, 60-70% risk of dying, which is a lot, especially if you, if you think that this may be younger. Uh, we had in the study patients of 19 years old, 20 years old, with a 70% chance of dying, is a lot. So in this young population with this risk, if you give adjuvant chemotherapy, you can improve this risk by at least 20%. So you can cut this risk by at least 20%. You can improve their survival by 20%, which is a lot. It is far more than what is uh, obtained by the use of conventional chemotherapy in other more common cancers. So in other more common cancer, chemotherapy is given for a much less benefit as compared to this one. Uh, we, will uh, we have been looking also at whether this uh, benefit was the same in the different histology subtypes uh, we have been considering, and we found that in fact it was consistent in uh, four of them, while in one, the use of an histology tailored approach was uh, uh, even to the use of conventional chemotherapy. So in this histology, we will expand recruitment in order to show a non-inferiority of the histology tailored drug, which is trabectidin, because it's far less toxic and since this uh, histology subtype, mixed liposarcoma, occurs, it's one of the uh, histologies which occurs in the youngest population. I uh, think it will be very important for the patient to receive a drug which has a much better safety profile, both in terms of side effects and long-term side effects, uh, and, and move this drug in first, in first line.